ओम नमः शिवाय स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड चैप्टर वन डेट इज इंट्रोडक्शन टू अकाउंटिंग एंड टुडे वी विल स्टार्ट सेकंड चैप्टर डेट इज थियोरी बेस ऑफ अकाउंटिंग इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल लर्न द थियोरी बेस ऑफ अकाउंटिंग कंसिस्ट ऑफ प्रिंसिपल्स कंसेप्ट रूल्स एंड गाइडलाइंस डेवलप्ड ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम टू ब्रिंग यूनिफॉर्मिटी एंड कंसिस्टेंसी The purpose of accounting is to know the financial status of business in the form of a financial statements. These statements disclose the uh, profitability and solvency position of a concern. Earlier, these statements were used mainly by the proprietor of the business, but these days, financial statements are used by a number of users, maybe internal like owners, management. employees or it may be external users like uh, creditors lenders government researchers and etc so for the purpose of enhancing the utility for different users accounting should be based on some consistent accounting policies principles and practice and such consistency is required throughout the accounting process so to enhance the utility of the financial statements for various users it is necessary that it should be prepared on some standard language and sub- some set rules should be followed for this purpose accounting principles concepts and conventions are formulated which are commonly known as generally accepted accounting principles or gap g a a p s gap refer refers to the rules or guidelines adopted for the purpose of recording and uh, resulting the business transactions in a similar manner to bring uniformity in the preparation and presentation of financial statements according to american institutes of certified public accountants principles of uh, accounting are the general law or rule adopted or proposed as a guide to action a settled ground or basis of conduct or practice so from the above discussion we know that accounting principles are the basis or fundamental propositions which helps in accounting process so what are the nature of features of accounting principles number 1 is accounting principles are not as exact as science principles accounting principles are made on the basis of experience and they can't be tested in lab so like science they are not universally applicable then accounting principles are not rigid accounting principles may change with the change in the business environment government policies etc then general acceptance general acceptance of accounting principles depend upon three basic criteria that is relevance objectivity and feasibility accounting principles will be considered relevant only when the result of accounting information is useful for the users objectivity means accounting principles may be such that result of accounting information is free from personal bias and as far as possible should be supported by some documentary evidence then feasibility an accounting principles will be considered feasible if it can be applied without any complexity with uh, reasonable cost so what are the need of accounting principles accounting principles are needed to make financial statements in some standard forms so that their utility can be enhanced and understood by all the users Uh, so accounting principles may be classified into two categories number one is accounting concepts or assumptions and number so second is accounting principles so what is accounting concepts or assumptions accounting concepts are the fundamental assumptions that should be followed while doing accounting so these concepts provide base for accounting process it should be noted that use of these concepts is compulsory and they are not optional more or less they are rigid and can not be changed so the fundamental accounting assumptions or concepts are 
going concern concept consistency concept and accrual concept now we will discuss all these concepts one by one first one is going concern concept according to this concept it is assumed that business shall continue for an indefinite period and there is no intention to close down the business that is the reason all the expenditure in the business is done uh, keeping in mind that uh, business will go on forever for example huge money is spent on advertisement in expectation of future profits similarly if we purchase a machinery or any other fixed assets we do not assume the full cost of the asset as an expense in the year of its purchase but we spread the total cost of machinery in its estimated useful life moreover external parties to the business enter into long term contact with this assumption that the business will continue in future that is the reason long term loans are provided and shares and debentures are purchased the second is consistency concept uh, under this uh, convention this is followed for the purpose of making comparison more useful and appropriate related to profit and loss account and balance sheet of the same enterprise for different years or uh, different enterprises of the same industry according to this convention the policies and methods adopted in one year should be consistent year after year so that in important conclusion and decisions can be taken about the performance of an enterprise for example there are various methods available for charging depreciation on fixed assets so an enterprise should use the same method of charging depreciation for different accounting period or the different enterprises of the same industry and working on the same scale should adopt the same method for the purpose of useful and correct comparison being a convention it can't be reserved uh, so if it is justified to change the matter for the better for performance and result of a business the enterprise can change its methods but due note should be given by way of footnote after preparing financial statements of an accounting period then third one is accrual concept to get an appropriate result that is profit or loss of the business it is necessary to do accounting on accrual basis rather than on cash basis according to this accrual concept a transaction should be recorded at the time when it take place and not necessarily at the time the settlement take place or we can say revenue should be recorded at the time when sales are made or services are rendered and not necessarily at the time when actual cash is received in the same manner expenses of an accounting period should be recorded in that particular period whether they are uh, paid or still to be paid that is outstanding income related to an accounting period whether received or accrued and uh, expenses related to an accounting period whether paid or outstanding should be shown in profit and loss account for the calculation of correct profit and loss of an accounting period then sales sales includes goods sold either for cash or on credit sales returns some of the goods may be returned by the customers if they are defective and they are called sales return then vouchers vouchers is the proof that a transaction has taken place then gross profit gross profit is the difference between the revenue from operation and the cost of revenue from operations on direct cost basis then net profit net profit is the profit left after all the business expenses are allowed in case all the business expenses are more than business revenue then it is net loss then packaging and packing packaging is a mechanical process and it is done in a factory example packing uh, packaging the injection is uh, in vials 
it is a direct expense on the other hand packing is a selling expense and is an indirect expense then goods uh, goods it means those items of uh, merchandise in which a business deals then cost it includes all those expenses which are incurred in making a product saleable then discount discount is allowed either to introduce uh, to induce prompt payment by the debtors or to increase the sale the former is the cash discount and the latter is the trade discount so students hope all these terms are clear to you please read the chapter see all the videos and uh, make notes wait for the next video till then goodbye om namah